Hey everybody! So today I wanted to show you how you can remove Microsoft Office 2013 from your Windows 10 computer. So maybe you just want to remove Microsoft Office 2013 so you can install a newer version. Maybe you're having problems with it. Maybe you can't get it to uninstall. Whatever the case is, I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can get Microsoft Office 2013 off of your Windows 10 computer so that you can install the newer version or reinstall Microsoft Office 2013. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you exactly what steps to take. Okay, so if I click on Start and I scroll down to the M's, there's my Microsoft Office 2013. And you can see if I go ahead and I click on Excel 2013, it'll open up and then I can open a new workbook or I can click on any of these others and it works perfectly. I have no problems with Excel 2013, Word 2013, Publisher, you get the drift. I don't have any problems with any of them. But I do want to remove the 2013 so that I can install a newer version. But maybe you're having trouble with 2013 and you just want to install a clean version of 2013. Well, what we can do is we can click on Start and we can go to Settings. And then once the Settings pulls up, you can click on Apps right here. And then when the Apps window pulls up, you can scroll down and there will be your Microsoft Office. So you'll either have the Microsoft Office Home, Microsoft Office Home Business, the Professional, the Professional Plus, any of those versions this will work for. So the very first way that you can do it is, and this is the easiest way, is you just click on the version of Office that you have, you click Uninstall, and then it's going to say, are you sure? So you click uninstall again. And then if it asks, can this app make changes to your device? You click yes. Then it's going to bring up the office setup window. Here it says, are you sure you want to remove Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2013 from your computer? Now again, yours will say whichever version you have installed. But you would want to click on yes. But let's say that you went ahead and you clicked yes and it goes through and it can't uninstall the Microsoft Office 2013. What do you do then? Well, I'm going to show you a second way to uninstall it. So I'm going to go ahead and click no on this just so I can show you that second way. So if I click no and I click on close here and I go ahead and I close this window, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the internet. So if I go on to the internet and I use Microsoft Edge to get onto the internet, but you can use any web browser that you want to. So we need to go to a search engine. You can use any of them that you'd like. You can use Google, Yahoo, Bing, DuckDuckGo. I'm going to use DuckDuckGo myself. So up here at the top, I'm going to type in DuckDuckGo.com and then press enter. And then once it pulls up, I'm going to go right here and I'm just going to search for remove office automatically. And then I'm going to press enter or of course you can click on the little search icon. Now when the results come up, you want to click on the very first one, which is uninstall Office automatically. When we click on that one, it takes us to Microsoft's website and it tells us exactly what to do. But I'm going to walk you through the process. So if you're using Edge, you'll do this one. If you use Internet Explorer, you'll use this one. And then Chrome's down here. And then Firefox is right here. I'm going to stick with the very top one because I'm using Microsoft Edge. So I'm going to click on this button right here where it says download. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to start downloading the file right up here at the top right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little folder and it's going to open up the downloads folder. And that makes it really easy for me to see the file that I need to run. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to run it as administrator. Now, if it asks you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You do, so you want to go ahead and click on yes. Now what it's going to do is it's going to run through and it's going to download the program that we need in order to get rid of that Office 2013. So give that just a moment to open up and start downloading the program. On this window, it wants to know, is it okay for it to install the application Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant? It is, so we're going to go ahead and click on install. Now that'll take just a moment for it to download and install the program, and then we can use it to remove the Office 2013. Okay, so the Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant was actually down at the bottom. If you'll notice this little icon down here, you might want to make sure that you click on that in case it doesn't pop up on yours. Once you click on it, you'll see this window right here. And then you want to click on I agree. In just a moment, it'll ask us if we want to remove the Microsoft Office. Now, you can go ahead and uninstall Microsoft Office the first way and then go through this as well because it will remove any traces of Microsoft Office that are still left on the computer. But now we're going to go ahead and we're going to select Microsoft Office Professional Plus 2013 or whatever version you have installed and then you're going to click on Next. And then it wants to know have you closed all of your programs and made sure nothing is running and you want to click on this little check box and then you want to click Next. And then once it gets finished removing the Microsoft Office, it's going to want us to restart the computer. So let's give that just a few moments. Okay, so the Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant has finished uninstalling the Microsoft Office 2013. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on restart so that the Windows 10 can restart and completely finish removing the Microsoft Office 2013. So let's give that just a few moments to restart and then when it comes back up I'll show you that Microsoft Office is completely gone. Okay, so the Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant came up as soon as the Windows 10 restarted and booted up to the Windows desktop. So here it wants to know, do you want to reinstall Office? Now, if you have an Office 365 subscription, you can log into your Office 365 account and you can download the Microsoft Office directly to your computer and reinstall it. But if you don't and you use the disk or a flash drive to install Microsoft Office, then they give you instructions right here on how to go and download Office 2010, 2013, 2016, 2019, or Office 365. They show you the steps that you would need to take to reinstall it. But I don't need to reinstall it, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on No. And then it wants to know, did it solve your problem? And I'm going to say yes. And then, of course, they want you to rate it. I'll go ahead and give them a good rating. And Have you contacted Microsoft? No. And then you can just submit it. They just want to know if it fixed the problem for you. Okay, so now that that's finished, if I go over here to the Start button, and I scroll down, you'll notice there is a Microsoft Corporation folder, but there's not a Microsoft Office 2013. So it completely removed it. Now there is the Microsoft Office 365, but it's just 
an icon so I could download Microsoft Office 365. It's not actually the Microsoft Office 365. But it did get rid of the 2013. And you can also go into settings. You can go back to apps. And then once you get here, you can scroll down just a little bit. And you'll notice the Microsoft Office 2013 is completely gone. So that should get rid of the Microsoft Office 2013 for your computer as well. So I hope that was helpful on how you can remove Microsoft Office 2013 from your Windows 10 computer. If you do have any questions about this procedure, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to get back to you about it. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well and I'll do my best to create that video for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I remove Microsoft Office 2013 from my Windows 10 computer because it's giving me a problem or I want to install a new version. And I'll be glad to keep putting up more great content like this for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.